Hi, everybody. Okay, so let me get the fan on me because it's super, super hot. Um, so tonight I am going to be making poisonous candied apples. Um, hopefully you can see me. I want you mostly to see the stove. Um, I did make some fake ones, which let me show you. Actually, I should ask first if you guys can hear me. Hi, Tanya. Um, can you let me know if you guys can hear? <coughs> hey, Dottie, you came, yay. <coughs> well, hello, William Porter. Hi, Sue. All right. I'm just wait, waiting to see, um, Lulu, hi, waiting to see, oh good, you can hear, okay. So, let me show you these. These were fun, these are not real. I had a lot of people saying, oh, are they, you know, we're not gonna be doing like fake bake. They're, the sprinkles are actually from one of my group members named Tanya, she makes these, and I haven't been able to use them, and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna try making the, um, candied apples and I'm gonna use some of her sprinkles so thank you Tanya her sprinkles they look so real my grandsons are here and my one of my grandsons is like can I eat those I'm like no they're not real so pretty awesome anyway if you want to know how I made these I'm gonna be live tomorrow morning um, California time at 10 a.m. so that'll be one o'clock um, on the East Coast okay so if you want to see how I made it so let me put these away. So I'm super nervous. I come, I've had my page for four years and I craft. I craft, I don't come on here and cook anything. So this is like really out of my, out of my thingy, you know? Um, but because I love creepy stuff and when Halloween's getting, you know, it's around the corner for me because I start working on my Halloween stuff early. I decided I'm gonna do weekly Halloween recipes. So every Friday at 6 p.m. Um, Pacific time, I'm gonna do Halloween recipes. Um, next week is gonna be witch fingers. So I really hope that you guys can pop in. And um, I'm gonna to try to see the comments, but it's really far for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start making these. So what we wanna do, again, I've never made these before, never. So let's hope it works. I'm going to turn my flame on and it calls for, oh wait, no, I'm not going to do that first. Sorry. It calls for two and a half cups of sugar, one cup of water. So I'm going to put a cup of water in here. It's a little bit over, but hopefully it's okay. So there's one cup of water. I had to use an old pan because it said to use something kind of high because the candy uh, mixture is going to like bubble up. So. Gotta be careful. One cup of water, two and a half cups of sugar. And also, let me mention that if you make these, you need to remove the wax from your apples. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do that. And hold on, I gotta get a fan on me because I am like cooking. Um, I got some water and I brought it to a boil. And I just stirred them around in there for like 10 seconds. And then I wiped them off and they were good. And it's crazy how, you know, they look so yucky, but you had to get the wax off. Also, I instantly put it into uh, ice water so the apples didn't cook. And I let them sit to dry. And you want to let them sit and dry for quite a while because it'll get some condensation on them and you want all that off. If you try to uh, dip them in the sugar mixture, um, in the candy mixture, when it has condensation and stuff, it'll just bubble and it'll, it won't look nice. Okay, there's two and then a half. I wish Norma was here so she can look at the comments. Okay. And 
then it calls for one, oh no, a half a cup of the corn syrup. And they always say to use this for the liquid measurements and this for the dry measurements. But I'm going to use this for the corn syrup because it'd just be easier for me. So half a cup of corn syrup. And I don't have the fire on yet. As soon as I get the fire on and we wait for it to reach 300 degrees, I'll look at my comments. Okay. I think that's good. Let me get a spoon. Get all this out. Want to make sure you get all of the syrup because it calls for a full half cup, okay? So if you leave some in there, your measurements won't be proper. Ooh, I tell you, my hair goes everywhere. Luckily, I found that. Okay, now we want to stir this really good. Get it all dissolved in there. Now, whoops. I was reading and trying to find out, okay, does black food coloring work good or does gel food coloring work good? And what I found was that um, it highly recommends the gel food coloring. So um, I got the black gel food coloring from Hobby Lobby. And I also have the regular food coloring, so I might try that on another time. But I'm going to use the gel because I want that really rich, deep uh, black color. Okay, so before I get this fire going, I'm going to start with one drop because I don't know how intense this is. That was just one drop. So let's get it stirred. Oh wow, look at that, one drop. Now one thing I did read about the gel food coloring is that if you don't mix it fully, you can have some of those streaks show up on your apples. So take a time and just really stir it really good. And actually to me it looks kind of purple, so no. We're going to go another drop. And also, let me let you guys know, oh shoot, that was a close call. Um, I do have some Jolly Ranchers. I'm going to pop in the oven and I'm going to try making two apples for the Jolly Ranchers. We'll see how those turn out. All right, I think I'm going to get it going. I have it on high. I don't know, it looks... Maybe a little bit more. I want them really, really black. One more. Stir it really good. Oh, and then you want a thermometer. Mine is like super long. Because we want it to reach um, 300 degrees. You can tell I'm not... I'm not a pro at this. I'm so new to doing this candy stuff. I think it's black enough. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Okay. Let me look up if there's any comments. Okay. Hi, Yvette. Oh, thank you, House of Holiday, and thank you, Alicia, for sprinkling. Hi, Candy. I really appreciate all the shares. Thank you so much. From Florida. Oh, from Florida. Sweet. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your first name, so I'll just say Ms. Campbell. Yeah, the fake sprinkles on um, I used on the fake apples um, are awesome so awesome I'm so glad that uh, Tanya sent them to me they work really good 
Eva, this is the first time I've used um, the gel, the gel food coloring. I've never used it before. Thank you for sharing, Daddy. One second. We're just waiting a sec for that to boil. Um, I gotta get something out of my purse. Give me a second. And then over here on the other side of the table, I have a stuff that you'll see we're gonna do with apples. were the sticks from Amazon. How many came in the package? Um, Yvette said. Oh, my stars. I have to look on my phone and I can't use my phone right now. But I tell you, I don't think it was very expensive. Um, but I, I can come back to the live 
I'll try to remember to put a link to these. Um, and shoot, I think there's maybe, there was a lot. I want to say, oh, shoot, my daughter walked down it. Okay, 1095. How many sticks is it? 30? She found some on Amazon for um, 1095, and I think there's 30 in a bag. More than what you'll need, unless you're making a lot of um, a lot of apples. And I mean, let me look really quick. Okay. Deanna, hi. Oh my gosh, I am watching the previous video. Uh, oh, you were watching the other one I messed up on. I tried to delete it. You need to stir that or the show. Oh, she said I need to stir it. Shoot. I wish I saw that sooner. Hopefully it didn't burn. We're at 225. I should have you over here reading the comments for me. Yes. <laughs> My daughter-in-law, Cristal, is here. I, she's going to help me because... Stay there, babe. Stay there. Uh, let me see if you can move this where this won't move. I can move it. Okay. There. So I don't miss any. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to make it go down. There it goes. So you can move it around there. All right, where are we at now? Well, geez, I didn't know it was going to take this long. Hopefully the Jolly Ranchers finish first, but I don't think they are. So when I dip them, I'm going to put them on a tray. Can you have me in the drawer of the parchment paper? And it's recommended that you put nonstick spray on um, some parchment paper on a cookie sheet. So we will do that. And then we're going to transfer them over to uh, the other counter so I can do some stuff to them. Now, the, I didn't see who it was that said I needed to stir. Um, can you, does anybody know, do I have enough time to dip them all and then be able to transfer them at the same time to start putting sprinkles and stuff on them or do I have to immediately put the sprinkles? So can somebody answer that for me? Because I don't know. Tomorrow wants to know how you're doing. I'm doing great. I am. Um, just uh, going out of the box here and doing some Halloween recipes. So if you're interested, every Friday at 6 p.m. I'm gonna do a new Halloween recipe. Next Friday is gonna be Witch Fingers. Deanna just applied for a Creepy, Hall a creepy Corner membership. Oh, sweet. Did you go to, uh, after you sub subscribe, make sure you go back to my page and look up the group Creepy Corner and request to join. And then when you join, um, I can go in and approve. We're getting 250, guys. And Jolly Ranchers are still not melted. Uh, Pam says you need to sprinkle as soon as you take them out. Oh, so I got to sprinkle ASAP. Okay. I guess uh, I should stop taking that out, too. Lisa wants to know if it's a sugar base and will it harden soon after you dip them. See, that's the thing I'm not sure. I saw one guy say, um, oh, it'll take about 10 minutes to get really, uh, like, glass, you know? How, um, but I don't know. I just want to make sure it's wet enough, because I have some red I want to put on it. Now, if um, I did see that if they are hard, you can put them over the steam to moisten them, to put sprinkles on them, but I don't want to mess up the, I don't want it to look lumpy, so I don't know. So we're at, we're still climbing to 250. Sorry. And I have some ribbon. Um, I have 
little doilies. Now, in my research, just so you know, um, the candy apples will last three to five days, but if you put them in a saran wrap, or not a saran wrap, well, I guess you can use saran wrap, but in these little plastic baggies to where they don't get air, they can last up to 10 days. That's in your fridge. Mm -hmm. Now, if you use these, like I bought these, they're just little boxes fold together. And these boxes actually come with the little doilies, which is super cute to put your apple, your apple on there. And you want to make sure too, like I will try to remember to do it, to, to drip a lot so that we don't have like a big old saucer underneath the apple. Um, I was reading the, I was watching the lady that does this as a living. She said, um, you want to try to avoid having that big old saucer underneath. And it'll make the doily look prettier too. Because you'll be able to see it better. And then it goes in there. And these weren't expensive either. And it has a little hole on top to put your stick through. And then, because these are poison apples, we're going to do something with some spiders. I got some spiders. Maybe we'll put them inside, outside. Go on, I don't know. Go on, Lou says, hey, hey, friend, Hey, hey. Thanks for joining. Um, everyone who's sharing, I super appreciate it. Why is it not getting um, hotter? I'm still stuck. I wonder if it shouldn't matter. I got the tip in there. <laughs> it sounded good enough. <laughs> You know what, can you hand me that one? I'm gonna try our barbecue thermometer. A lot smaller. Um, Lisa says to be patient and we'll get that the heat. Burning the hell out of my hand. <laughs> that says only 233. Did you, did you hear? Huh? Lisa said to be patient to keep the, the temperature will get there. Okay. We will wait. Now I know the Jolly Ranchers, they said it takes only like 10 minutes, so it should be at 300. At 300. Let's take a peek. And then Yvette Margaret said it takes a while to get to the temperature. Okay. Yeah. Like, are there going to be any candy stuff left? Ooh, that's almost melted out. Ooh, it smells so uh, It's gonna look awesome. Wait till you guys see that one. So, let's see. They're all just saying, be patient. <laughs> Candy, I can't wait to see you in September. Oh, I see Pilon. Hi, Pilon. That said, it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's melted, but it's not melted to where it's moving. So we have to wait just a little bit longer for the Jolly Ranchers. Okay, you guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. I super love this can be used for a lot of things. Cookie yeah. jar. It says poison, which is great. Use with caution. You can get these at Big Lots. This was $15 at Big Lots. I love it. The Big Lots here where I live just started putting their uh, Halloween stuff out. So, super excited. You can, oh, there you go. Keep fingers crossed. You know, Candy, I was thinking, because remember how I told you um, I'm going to see my daughter? I leave on the 11th and come back on, I don't I think it was like the 14th or something. So, um, Norm and I were talking, and it's like, oh, maybe we should have the Halloween extravaganza auction that weekend. And then, Candy, you can come and be a part of the Halloween extravaganza auction. What do you think? 
if you can make it out all the way where I live. Although I could always pick you up. That would be fun. She's, um, she's been in my group since I started, Andy. She's very sweet. <sighs> Getting closer to 250. Dottie said their their big lots closed, but Lisa said that Home Goods has big lots. Oh, we don't have a Home Goods here. Not here. You have to work fast, I think. Uh, Denise said it would be really cool to have candy party up. Said what? Denise said that it would be cool to have candy in part of, part of the outfit. Oh, I know. Wouldn't it be awesome, Denise? Whoa. I have one line away from 250. Candy said she'll message you privately about it. Okay, awesome. And if you can, don't feel pressured. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I just thought it would be so fun. I have burning up. So, let's see. Let me show you some stuff while we're waiting, if you don't mind. Let me grab, this is uh, already somebody here, Lisa has it. Can you bring me Beetlejuice? For anybody that hasn't seen Beetlejuice truck, this was a 4th of July truck from Hobby Lobby and um, it was on clearance because of the holiday. And I took advantage of these trucks and decided to revamp them. I made a Pennywise, which was super awesome, and I finished Beetlejuice. Hold on, let me get in frame. It's hard to tell, okay. So that's the side, that's the top, and uh, I gotta get this package and shipped for Monday. Isn't that cute? Um, the worm has a little switch underneath and it lights up the eyes. Because Grace says she loves him. I have a, um, oh, my grandson wants me to show you guys. Um, my grandson, Adam, he wanted me to draw him a zombie. So I said, okay. And then I put it in a frame for him and this is what I came up with. The mouth is a little bit big, but there it is. It's done in charcoal and pencil. And then my younger grandson, oh, careful, my blue gun's on, watch out. My younger grandson wanted a Spider-Man zombie. Okay, I tried, but it just did not turn out. So he couldn't decide what he wanted, and then other things he wanted was, like, way too hard. So I said, you're going to get a dinosaur. <laughs> so this is what he got. He got a dinosaur. Lisa said your zombie is awesome. And this is also in a charcoal and pencil. There you go, Vince. I am so sweaty. Especially with the oven on, the stove, burner on. Willamine. Willamine. Uh -huh. said, oh my, the truck is super cute. Thank you. Can you get me my little action figures so I can show them what I'm working on? Yes. So I have... Um, Three trucks left to do. Oh, and also Shorty, yeah, or Spiky, sorry. Yeah. I'm doing um, Freddy Krueger. Don't drop And I'm doing one truck that's going to have Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. I'll show you the characters. No. Don't drop them. Don't drop them. Write that, write that. Okay, so this guy is going to be used on one truck. You can see him. There we go. Um, it's pretty darn good action figure. And then these two. I don't know which way to go to make it be in camera. This way or the other way? Oh, towards the stove. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's like, what are you even doing? Anyway, can you go put those back? Those are the trucks I'm working on. Yeah, I'm just, I'm sweating so bad. I'm going to see if maybe you can get the big fan from my room. 
It's bad. All this heat from this candy stuff is just horrible. Um, okay, also I have a little mini milk truck coming and I'm going to turn it into an ice cream truck. And here's one of the mini characters of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, he showed up. I'm still waiting for another one. So we're going to have that one too. And then my last truck that I'm going to do is going to be Dracula. And he's going to have his coffin in the back of the truck. I'm super excited to get these done. But it's, I have orders I'm trying to get done um, and shipped out and stuff, so it's a little slow. Oh, we are so getting so close to 300 degrees. Oh my God, the, the Jolly Ranchers might be done. Let's see. Oh, it's so hot. Ew, do you think that's good enough? I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh. Alright. Shoot. Don't want to get she, camera. Dottie said she needs Dracula. Okay, ready? It's burning my hand. I gotta do this quick. I love the color. Let me hold it this way. Look at that. All those colors together. Alright. I don't think it's gonna do two. So we're gonna go swirl. Oh wait, you know what? I was just telling you guys that if you uh, if you keep it in the cellophane thingy, it'll last 10 days. No, what makes it last 10 days is by putting the candy mixture all the way up to the, the stick. So Candy said she has very small ice cream cones, just the cones. Do you have enough time to mail them to you? Do you have, I'm guessing she, she means do you have enough time for her to mail them to you? make the killer clones? Oh, absolutely. That would be awesome. See, it's starting to get hard. <sighs> this last one's going to be kind of gross. <laughs> but it's going to taste delicious. <laughs> well, it's the black. That, that might as well be a poison apple. Yeah, this one. This one, uh, these ones are it's so freaking hot. Really Those ones are just going to be fun. It really does look like a shirt. Rick, can you go inside of my bedroom and get that fan? I got sweaty from that. Yeah. It's super hot. JC. Oh, shoot. We're at 300 degrees. Okay, you guys ready? We're at 300 degrees. So, I think I got to take this off immediately because we don't want it. Where's the, where's the thing here it is? Okay, so it said to tilt. So we're tilting. Oh wait, turn the fire off. <laughs> you can tell I've never done this before. And here we, and it actually one person said, wait for it to stop bubbling, but I saw other people do it while bubbling, so I'm gonna do it. I want it to go up to the stick, because it goes up to the stick. Oh, look so at it. You're not gonna follow if it goes up to the stick, then it will last up to 10 days. Okay, and then I'm gonna set it here. I only have three more to do, so hopefully it won't get hard too fast so that we could do the sprinkly thingies. And you can also dip twice. That is so cool. Yeah, you have a little patch on this one. Uh-oh, do I? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll dip that one on the other side of my uncle. Okay. So I guess you just maybe go slower to get it all in there. You know what? The more it's cooling, the blacker it's getting. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Look at how that one is like. Oh, they can't see. Let me. It's got a leg, so I gotta wait a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Francis says hello. Ouch! <laughs> it could have been worse. You get that. This is super hot. I don't want you to get burned. So I'm just spinning and rolling all the way up to the stick. And I'm going to try a second one on that. Yeah. That one. That one's nice. 
Look at the other side. See it? The little oh, yeah. Let's try another roll. Casa Holiday says bravo. <laughs> She's the one I showed you the, what she made with the, the half skeleton oh, and pumpkin. Yes, that's her. Okay, that's a second dip, and look second at that. Second dip them all. I see a bubble. Now, I did hear them say, if you uh, do this, well, there's bubbles. Oh, that got messed up right there. It's starting to get thick on me. I think that's the problem. I think I got to heat it back up. So that means I probably can't. See, they don't look black. They look purple now. Well, you have a lot of fall. A lot of fall. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to let that bubble just happen. That needs to come off. i got to put sprinkles. Make these for your guys' classrooms for Halloween. We'll do caramel ones. I can't. We'll do caramel ones. I can't. All right, guys. They don't look black. So I'm going to transfer these. And we're going to turn the camera around and see if we can have time to decorate them. They're not black. I'm kind of bummed. Okay. Now, let me turn this... I gotta scoot you over, Crystal. Okay. Okay, guys, watch out. We're gonna come around. Gosh, dang it. So that you can see. Hold on. Trying to, oh no, that doesn't do it. I'm working with a, my uh, ring light is barely together these days. <laughs> okay. So hopefully, I got some red, which now it's not gonna look great because this would look good on black ones. So obviously, Obviously, um, more food coloring. I think that these are too, they're already too dry. Yeah, they're already hard. <laughs> they're already freaking hard. That's why she's, remember she said do it as soon as they are done. I'm trying to see which way to go to make it seem more Hold on. There we go. Yeah. So, I think out of all of these, this one is my favorite. Look at that. That one's my favorite. Look at. That was my favorite. Is there a problem? But I think that this, yeah, see, it just came right off. So she was right. It, you want to put your sprinkles on right away. So now I know. Um, but let's go ahead and try one of these. This one reminds me of the Snow White Apple, kind of, mm -hmm. how they, the, it's the coloring. So you would put the apple in here. How do we do this? So the stick goes like that. Dottie says to dr uh, drop some on the spoon and sprinkles. To do what? Use a, a spoon to put on the sprinkles. It's just that the candy got hard super fast. Tian says she thinks she did a great job. Did I did a great job? Yeah, you did oh, thank you. Um, I can't put it in here right now because it's still hot and it's steaming it up. But let's see. There's a few things that you could do just to make it look cute. And 
I was I had the uh, hopes of it being a black apple, and it's not. So you know, this is not going to look good. I was going to tie on um, a black and white striped ribbon. I'll go ahead and do it anyway, but. So if you join me every Friday, I cannot guarantee that the recipe is going to turn out like I want, <laughs> but at least I'll try. But just a little example. And then the twine like I did on um, the fake apple. Don't forget, join me tomorrow at um, 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm going to show you how I made those uh, fake apples. Those were a lot of fun. Um, Kathy wants to know what kind of food coloring you use. I use the black gel food coloring. Um, I think next time I'll use, because I'm going to definitely make more of these. Now, this is my first time. I'm definitely going to try it again now that I know, you know some things. Um, I'm going to use more than two drops. Now, I did watch a video of a man that he used um, black gel food coloring but he also used some kind of it's charcoal powder um, I've never heard of it apparently it's you know edible you can put it in your foods and it made his apples the most deep um, black color it was amazing so here's some ideas I have this really pretty ribbon too that I used on the fake one. I will show you that one tomorrow. I'll use it. Eva uh, says you're going to be a pro come Halloween. I know. Halloween time I'm going to have some badass recipes. Um, take a little spider. Obviously do not put hot glue on the apple. <laughs> but you could put hot glue on the stick. Isn't that fun? Look at that. I'm going to have this one as my example. Hopefully they can see it. I can't tell. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Wilhelmine. So I think this is pretty good. I did get a bit of a saucer on the bottom. But, you know, now I really think that we should have the main check on this and to see if they taste good. Adam, geez. We're going to have some taste testers. How do we get rid of this? You have to push back. Don't push it again. Okay. Adam, Jace, do you want to test these? Let's see if they turn out good. Oh my gosh. Crystal, you have to go show this to Jason. I want to show this one more time. Isn't that adorable? And look at that gloss. It's like a freaking mirror. I can see myself in it. So, you guys can't eat this one. <laughs> Go show Jason and Rick. Okay, grandsons, over here. How about one of you try a Jolly Rancher and one of you try... I'll try Jolly Rancher. You want to try the Jolly Rancher? Okay, I'll use And I use one. green apples and red apples. So, I prefer... Ew. I prefer <laughs> the um, green. Ew, look at the bottom. Ew because the green are more round. How weird, these ones came up easy, but the Jolly Ranchers do not. Okay, that's something good to know. Don't put Jolly Ranchers on parchment paper. So, you eat this part. Make sure it's not too hot for your mouth. Not the bottom. Okay, taste test for the Jolly Rancher. This is Jace. They're all watching you. <laughs> you gotta hold the other side. <laughs> You gotta hold it, babe, and yeah, and crunch right in the middle. What do you say? He said it was cool. Okay, Adam, come around oh. this way. He's missing some teeth, so I don't know. <laughs> it's too hard. Tanya says prayers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam, you get to try the candied one. Okay. You gotta be in frame. Get next to your brother over there. Hurt. Is it hot? No, it's just hard. <laughs> That's a candy apple. It's supposed to be hard. I'm extremely I think that one person said that you can like hit them to crack them, you know? 
Like an egg? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really fun. Okay. Now try taking a bite. It really looks good. Cool. Yeah. For anybody just popping in, here's the one I'm showing off. Debbie tells you guys to enjoy. Debbie said, enjoy your apples. Thanks. Okay, no more crunching. All it is is just, I only got that. You gotta eat the apple too. Uh, it's <laughs> Mama's gonna have to cut yours, babe. I really love that. I don't want to you cut into it. it. I'm so proud of it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I think they're probably both good. They probably love them both. Hey, Ron. I didn't see my husband's on here. Ron, check this out. Look at my candy apple. This is the best one. And it's actually like a... a Oh, it's like a blood red. It's pretty groovy. Don't cook the candy. So, wait, I missed that comment and it scrolled up. Thank you all for sharing. I super appreciate it. Um, thank you, Candy. Thank you, Tanya. Don't cook the candy for so long and it won't be so hard. Oh, okay. It'll be softer if I don't cook it so hard. Thank you, Lisa. He smelt it first. I bet that he smelt it. Francis is laughing. Use wax paper for the Jolly Rancher. Ah, oh, okay. He <laughs> bet says, hello, Mrs. Heather. That was for Ron. <laughs> um, Candy, I will try to be here tomorrow. We'll depend on it if I have to go to the, go to the hospital. Oh, my stars, I hope you're doing okay, Candy. Alicia, I, I, I still wanted to grab one of those and eat it off your table. <laughs> I did. I, I'll talk to Candy later and check on her. Francis loves it. What are you crazy ladies doing? Ron said. You want me to just set my lawn? Okay. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for sharing. And whoever would like to join again, I'm going to go live tomorrow. 10 a.m. Uh, California time, Pacific Standard time making these fake uh, candied apples. So these are a lot of fun. And you can actually make awesome um, arrangements with these fake apples. Use them for Halloween. So thank you again, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.